Rich Pacini here, your YouTube vlogger and creator. If you are a Power Director 2024 Ultimate user like me, then you might want to stick around and check this out. First off, what I want to say before we get started is I want to say welcome. It's the first time at my YouTube channel. And I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers who resubscribed to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you like the content and come back for more. What this video is about is in regards to taking a photo with a very bland and gray background. I'm gonna show you that in a little bit. And how to change the sky replacement in there. Now, PowerDirector 2024 Ultimate does have the sky replacement for the videos, but they don't, apparently, from what I've been uh, doing research and, st and studying this program, I noticed they couldn't do a sky replacement for the photos. So, I'm gonna keep this video as short as possible can make guarantees or promises but I'm gonna try the best I can and hopefully this workaround will help you out when it comes to creating video now I did reach out to Cyberlink and I did contact them uh, their customer service and I asked them I know the sky replacement works for the videos what about photos and the person couldn't give me an affirmative answer so I said, I'm taking it my own on my own behalf I'm taking it as that is a no Okay, he said he's going to pass it on to the technical support people and see how that works out. So here's the workaround, okay? So if you guys could stick around and check it out, especially if you are a power director, uh, you know, video editing software person, user, you might want to check this out. I'm going to put my glasses on, and we're going to go to where you're going to get the free scar replacements. I'm going to share that with you right now. There I am at the bottom. What you want to do is when you do, do a Google search, go to free and type in free scar replacement images. You're going to get this window that's going to pop up. Come over here where it says Unsplash, okay? And this is what you want to do. And you can pick out one of these here. We're going to try this one here. All right, we're going to click that one on. And I'm going to click it over here. And when you click it on, you're going to get this window. It's going to say Download Free. You're going to click it on. And it's going to jump into your uh, download folder. And we're going to add another one to it. We're going to close this down for a second here. Let's go back over here, click the X. And we're going to add another one to it as well. So let's go back over here and we're going to go to let's see let's see let's go back over here let me just move this back over here again i'm going to go back to the folder okay and we're going to go back again to sky replacement here we'll click that this whoops we don't want that one that one's a nice one too but i want to get the other one the one i want is going to be i already downloaded these here so they should probably be in my downloader folder already Oh, this is iStock. Now, be careful with the iStock. You don't want iStock because that you got to pay for it. So make sure you go when you come here. If you have to backtrack it, take it back over here and go to the one that says Unsplash. Okay, this is what you want or what you're going to pay for the other ones. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do here. Um, let's try Let's try this guy here. Let's try this cloud here. Okay, we're going to click that on. And again, you're going to do a free download like that. And you're going to click that on. It's going to be in your download folder. All right, so let's back out of here and let's jump into from um, let's go to Cyberlink Power Director. Okay, now what we're gonna do is I, yeah, I took two pictures this morning. This one here it looks like these little spots here. These are rain. This is what it's like today in the state of New York. We have overcast and rain on and off pretty much all day today. Okay, what we want to do is want to go to Import and go to the Media Folders and we're gonna click over here. Just gonna pick these two right here. Gonna click them both on. Like that and we're gonna open them okay now they both opened up now when it comes to changing the background just a little tip a little point for you guys out there for don't who don't use this program if it's the first time you are using it we want to get acclimated with it drop the photo like this on the, on the timeline here right let's there we go let's make it a little bigger so you can see it make sure it's always on the bottom and the background you want to be on the top so let's pull this down here I can get my mouse to work. Come on here. Come on, guy. There we go. All right. Let's move this over here. Yes. Okay. All right. What you want to do is you want to come over here. You want to click on the photo. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on edit. When you come to edit, you want to go to tools and you want to go to chroma key. Okay. It's going to drop you to another window here. As you can see, the background's behind it. This is good. You want to see the photo over here. If it, you don't see it, then you got to re just rotate them around, just switch them around. Okay. And you're going to click on the eyedropper. And you're going to come over here. And you can reposition any way you want. Click it on. 
that's how it's gonna look. Okay, well, not actually, but you're gonna come over here to the color range and you're gonna go, there you go, like that. You can take it all the way over. The denoise, I don't really play with the denoise on there. Okay, you don't have to play with that. It's up to you, but I don't really touch that there. You're gonna click OK. It's gonna put you over here in your viewing window here. And now you have this here. Now you could probably, you can make it a little bigger like that if you want to, whatever. If, but if you want to, you don't want to cut too much of your picture out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix this up here. We're gonna click on the, we're gonna come back over here, and we're going to reposition here. Now, if you can't do this, I want to share something with you guys. Because the way it's set up. The aspect ratio box is checked. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's go to edit. And you see it says maintain aspect ratio. In order to draw it closer, instead of playing around with it, quick little tip, uncheck it. Okay, uncheck that there. And now you got these little squares here. Okay, now you can reposition it like that if you want to keep it uniform. Okay, I highly recommend you do that there. Okay, now that looks good already like that. Now. We want to make the picture a little better. We want to make that, we want to, you know, make it look a little better. Put a little, you know, make it uh, pop, so to speak. So we're going to come over here again. We're going to go to, click on the video, uh, the uh, photo, and we're going to go back to edit. You're going to come over here where it says, not the tool part this time, you want to go to color. And here you're going to have your presets here. They're already, these are all default settings. What you want to do is, you want to play around with this, folks. And again, you could do this at your own leisure. I'm just giving the basics and stuff like that, show you how to, you know, make it look nice and stuff. What you do is over here, click color adjustment, right? And each time you do these things here, like you, you're gonna probably see a little change in the picture, but let's come over here with all the controls over here. You got exposure, brightness, controls, so on and so forth, okay? Contrast. And here's where you're gonna play around with it now. You're gonna, you know, play around with it like this. Now, again, make sure, you know, when you're doing this here, you check out the bottom of the photo as well. If you don't want to do anything like that, just put it, put everything back in the middle if you want to leave it the way it is. Here, you can play with the brightness. Okay, again, look at the bottom of it though, your photo. All right, I really don't recommend too, too much with this here when it comes to that. The contrast, you know, you can make it a little darker. Okay, you could do that as well. You can darken up the picture a little. Here's the U. Okay, you could change the U around a little. Not much, but you could change it around a little. You gotta do it to, its, you, to your desired look and you know, the way you like it. Here's the saturation, okay? Play around the saturation, it doesn't sound like it does much. The vibrancy, okay? Change it around, there is a little, in the trees, if you have a trees, a little movement there. Um, and each time you do it, the lighting adjustment, when you click that on, it's gonna give you a different look. Here's the white balance, okay? If you take notice of the picture, it starts to it starts to get a little more vibrant like that. The HDR effect, you click that on, that'll give it a little different effect. See, now watch when I click it on, look at the photo, see what happens. Kind of like really keeps everything in full perspective, uh, like the contrast and everything's on there pretty good. I don't mess around with the color match and I don't do the split toning. Okay. And if you want to sharpen up the picture, I make it even a little you make it a really sharp picture you can move it that way if you move it too much it gets it might get grainy at times you know it, it, like the it, grainy it's not grainy, grainy uh just be careful with that there if you don't again you could always move it around you could always add a shadow to it too you could do it with the shadow feature you could do that as well probably doesn't seem like too much of it but you know you could play around with that as well or if not just leave it back the way it was and the highlight uh, healing here yeah, whatever you could do that there as well you could leave that alone if you're satisfied with everything the way it looks, that's it, and you're happy with it, you're good to go. Now, with that being said, that's that particular background. I think it looks pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Let's click it, let's X out of here. Let's try it with a different background now, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this over here on top of this one here. Let me just get my mouse to work here. mouse is a little acting up here now here we go all right and we're just gonna we're gonna overwrite it okay and that's how it looks now that one again this is what I'm trying to say when it comes to uh, using backgrounds and that type of setting you want to make sure you're getting the right background for it the other one might be a little too dark here you could actually see the roof you can see the trees and remember this is what it looks like 
I mean, what a difference, right? I mean, that's it. What a difference. And that, that's how it looks with it there. Let's click this back on again. What a difference. Night and day. See? And if you go back to it, when you go to the photo, if you wanted to add a little more. Now, people might say, well, what about this over here? You know, you can see like a little shadow there. Well, again, you could play around with it. You go back over here to the photo, go to edit. And here you can make probably fi your final adjustments. You know, if you bring it out a little, if you bring this out, that may help it a little, you know, I mean, like that there. You kind of take it away from the roof, but it depends what you want. I mean, you know, if you go leave it the way it is like that there. And you could hear, again, you could play around with this and, and add a little more to it. Because it's a lighter and it's got more blues in there, it's got the white and you know, the clouds, stuff like that. You could still play around with it. You could make it really darker. The vibrancy, you can make it really pop like that. The saturation. You know, you could play around with the saturation on there. It doesn't seem like it does too, too much with it. Uh, contrast. Contrast will bring it up really. Look at the difference when you take it out of there. Look at this. When you, make the, when you put the contrast all the way like that there. It get, you can see like it's got a nice true color to it, whatever. And then again, you can play around the brightness, which I would recommend you do it. That's totally up to you. If you bring it back, you can darken up. Now you don't want to do that you when you see that there when you see it like this here you don't want to go that route so if you're going to play around with the that and that's with the uh, contrast i think right no that's with the uh, brightness um you might want to you know think twice about playing around with that there but if you do want a little on the darker side you could do that you might get a little shading around here it all depends it's got to be desired to your liking you know uh, so you can play around with that like that there and then the exposure you can play around with the exposure Let's see the exposure, when you got the exposure, this kind of like lightens up, looks like the sun is coming at it this way, right? You could play around with the exposure, and if you bring it the other way, let me get my mouse over here to work. And then it really darkens it up like that. I kind of like I, I kind of like the dark look, but that's me personally. You know, I like it that way. All right. And if you you'll see, if you start taking these things out, like the HDR effect, you might see a little different there. Let's click it on again. It's got a little, it makes it a little different, right? This you see over here, that shadow that we had before. Look, the HDR effect, you see like that little shadow here, right here? When you uncheck it, watch it goes away. See, so over here, it, went, it dissipated, right? Um, the white balance, when you get rid of that there, the lighting adjustment, that there. Everything you do, it's gonna change it around a little. You're gonna see the picture change a little. Now, if you notice, the roof over here and the trees got a little lighter so if you go back to the color adjustment that's because the color adjustment works with these settings okay when you click it on boom it makes it pop okay but if you like all those settings like that there let's click them all back on again and it's to your liking and you say you know what I like it it looks nice and sharp if you also want to uh, you know sharpen up the pitch you could do that as well really look how crisp that looks Right, and then you got shadow, and you got the highlight healing and stuff like that. I don't know. I'd like to see what the highlight healing does. Yeah, it's not bad, I guess. You know, it's not bad. And then the shadow, you got the shadow over here. You guys can play around with it. And once you get it to where you like it, like that there, a little tip. Okay, once you get it set up like that, okay, you're happy with it. X out. And let's say you want to use this particular picture. Oh, I don't know. Maybe you want to use it as a photo in uh, one of your videos. Okay. What you want to do is just a little tip. See the little camera here? You click this on. You're going to get a window that's going to pop up to save it. Just click save. It's going to jump on your screen over here, media screen. It's going to import it. And there it is. All right. It's going to pop up. Bingo. And what you can do then is get rid of these two things. You can get rid of them. Just remove it, cut them out like that. And you could drop this bad boy. There we go. All right. And then, um, and that's it. And now you have that picture like that. Now, again, you may say, yeah, but I want the whole, I want that whole picture to be, you know, wider. I want to widen it up a little. Again, click it on, go to edit. And what you want to do is go to tools, okay? Remember, remember this, and go 
uncheck the maintain aspect ratio. Now, I know you're gonna see here, you're gonna say, well, what's gonna happen here? Where does it go? You could always go like this, you could extend it like that. Let's go back over here again here. You have to move it around a little like that, and then you can just bring it this way. So now you made the picture bigger now. Now it's a full screen. Okay? That's it. That's what I want to share with you guys. That is the workaround. But anyway, I'm going to close the video out, and I just want to say thank you uh, for taking the time. And if you do like this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and if you want to be updated. So when you post that new videos, please hit that bell notification icon. This is Rich Pacini signing off. I'll talk to you guys the next time. Take care and bye-bye for now.